I think uh, I think it's always uh, been the Springboks have been the, the rival, you know, the traditional rival, and we throw Australia in as well because there's the, the real uh, chance Tasman rivalry there. But uh, when it comes to you know having played for a few years, like both present different challenges, and to come over here and play the Springboks in South Africa and win is probably the the toughest test match you'll, you'll get, and uh, you know that's. That's, that's the sort of games you want to play in. So, I think um, you know if you're growing up, there's because it's probably perceived as being the toughest uh, one. That's uh, you, know, you grow up wanting to be play against the Springboks. Look at the South African players; they're all big men, um, and you know that you've got to to win a Test match against uh, South Africans or even a Super Rugby game. Uh, you've got to win the physical battle because if you don't, yeah, it's pretty hard and. You know, I've been on the receiving end at, at times where you haven't done that and it's a pretty hard old game to play. So that's probably exactly um, where I'd, you know, when I think about those sort of games, that's what you think about first. Yeah, there's always a few, but I think the, the consistent one I've come up against fairly regularly is uh, Scott Berger. Uh, and, and when I think about playing him, he's... Uh, I got, got to know him pretty well. A hell of a nice guy, but out in the field, like, he's, he's into everything. And... He it means business every time. There's no soft bits. There's, he's in there and, and and you know flies into things. And and you know that you got to be like that yourself because if you go a wee bit soft or get it not quite right, you'll get get stung. So I think he's one that um, I think over time you know he's been a fairly regular occurrence uh, in the opposition when I've played against South Africans um, that uh, you always keep an eye on. I, there's been a few others I, I, I suppose um, you know. Like perhaps well, I mentioned someone like a John Smith, who's obviously captain in the team, and you know he has a great influence over over games as well through his leadership and stuff. And and I guess from my point of view, you want to ha- try and have that same sort of stuff uh, influence. So uh, you know you, you keep an eye on what he's doing, and, and I guess uh, seeing what sort of reward he's getting for what he's doing. So I don't know whether it's just because it happened happened last year, but the the game we played at Soccer City was. One of those games, and it was probably 12 months earlier. It was exactly where the Springboks, you know, they'd won two at home, we'd won two at home, and you play that away game where, you know, I knew the, despro- the Springboks were going to be desperate, just like we were in Hamilton, and to, to get a win when, you know, probably the odds were stacked against you, that was pretty satisfying, and that was a hell of a brutal match uh, physically. Um, so that's one that maybe just because it's uh, fresh in the mind, but certainly that, that, that achievement, I remember being pretty satisfied at the end of that game.